Welcome to this video playing Yardbird here with White. And what the heck did he do with his rating? This is not fair, playing against such a strong player with this uh, low of a rating in comparison to what he's uh, capable of, uh, of doing. Okay, got uh, probably an old Indian. I normally play with e4, bishop g5 is also a good line. This is how I normally play that. So with a4, b4, there's a5, so let's take here. Um, is it rook takes? I'm not totally sure. Or queen takes. Hmm. Rook takes, I believe. Uh, an interesting way to play. At the end, he will have knight g4 if I take on a6. So maybe that's not such a brilliant idea to take a6. Rook takes, rook takes, bishop takes, knight to g4, and he will get my dark squared bishop. Hmm. Okay. Maybe try to keep the pressure on. Okay, queen to b8. Hmm. Yeah, it's maybe getting in bishop b5 here, but okay, it's not uh, fatal or anything. Um, is f3 a move? Maybe. Yeah, I want to cover e4 so that I have knight c4. Hmm, that's uh, surprisingly difficult, this position. Okay, knight c4, bishop b5. So he really has chances to get this traded. Hmm, queen b3 maybe to prevent the immediate trade. Uh, if he takes it, rook b8, he can go back to, back to d2. Yeah, maybe. No, oh, interesting. Played this uh, very interesting way as usual. Maybe rook a4 is not really good, yeah? Because of bishop d7. Maybe. But okay, I'm not I'm not sure about this position. It's not like um I'm I'm in a in a terrible situation here, but um uh, normally this opening really should um, yield um, some advantage for white. Nothing brilliant, but something to work with. And I'm not sure I have something here. But yeah, I think he probably needs to trade queens here. Taking on a6 was probably not very promising because of bishop b6 or sometimes he just gets b2. Hmm, so interesting now. What is his move? Bishop b5? I probably just take. Yeah, I thought maybe to maybe capture on b3, play rook b8, but... I probably just go back to d2 and it's not clear that this is uh, this is any good for black. Uh, interesting, to a5. So I can trade now if I like and play knight to c4. Okay. Bishop b5 might be his move, right? But I can, uh, I can play king f2 then, cover, cover e2, and still, and still attack d6. So he's maybe forced to trade now, and this should be quite good. B3, yeah, and I'm going to win the a pawn. At least uh, 
in the near future. Ah, maybe knight d7 now. Mm, maybe he can play knight d7 now. To take on b6 with a knight. Maybe. I take it he gets to the second rank, but I also will get play against the d6 pawn or rook a1. Mm. Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah, come on. Let's uh, get this get this going. Okay. I didn't really expect that that exact move order. I can play rook b1 if I want. And uh, keep the pawn for the moment. Rook b8, I have also b4. He cannot take because of the weak back rank. So now rook b5 is, um, is, is, is a rook trade. <clears throat> I thought rook c5, but he has he has uh, rook a2. Um, b4 or yeah, b4 I guess. <clears throat> it's uh, not exactly clear what is what he's doing now. Knight a4 maybe. Knight a4. I have. Uh, Rook a5 or rook b7 or maybe uh, this one. At least I thought rook b7. Huh? Isn't this a double attack on the rook and the knight? I don't see a reply here. Black resigns. Okay, so one in the back <laughs> in this in this big match. Um, and I've gotten to uh, almost 50% now, just minus one. Um, yeah, I am not really sure about all this. <laughs> let's let's start here. Around here we have a theoretical position. The question is, however, how should I take? I took with the rook, hmm, yeah, it looks really normal. If I take with the queen, he has this knight g4 um, immediately. And I'm not sure I have anything here. If we consider something like that, I mean, he probably will get this bishop to b5, and this protects uh, all of his weaknesses. So maybe this is right. Now this, and yeah, I really don't want to take, if we look at this, we see that black um, really got some activity here. He will probably take bishop here, or sometimes queen over here. I don't like that. So. I guess this is right. And now this move. I went f3 to make sure my center is secured and I can actually move this knight somewhere, mostly to c4. He went bishop d8 and now I went queen b3. Yeah. Wow, that's the top engine move. Oh, I'm, this was good, yeah. I'm, I wasn't really uh, sure about all that, but uh, as it seems that Queen b3 is right because it's it's the only move really to prevent a quick uh, bishop b6 from happening. And here I played a5. That's also the best defense according to the comp, but it should give me an advantage by trading and knight c4. Just how I played bishop c5. And now the comp wants to play rook c1. Okay, I went here. It's the second best move, but it keeps an advantage. So I'm, I'm really satisfied here. Yeah, it seems that I handled this well. I wasn't really sure about it in the game, but uh, it seems that uh, it's be, it is okay. Knight d7 now seems to be better. And white has an advantage, but nothing decisive. After this, it probably is very tricky now. The a pawn is, is very tough to, uh, to hold. I was actually expecting that he would play knight takes b6 to uh, to play uh, to somehow play this position. Check. 
but maybe uh, this is also not helping him very much. Yeah, something like this. I have uh, a counter attack on the pawn on d6. Okay, so he went here. And I went here. Yeah, and probably rook b8 is better. I mean, b4 is maybe even stronger. Okay, but. I wanted to, to play it simple and here b4 is, is flat out winning. This is, is really winning. And this is what I expected and I wanted to go rook a5 which is approved by the comp. That's good. Something like that seems to be best. And then I wanted to play rook a1 actually. Yeah. Okay, white is, is basically winning with the b-pawn. It would have been a matter of good uh, technical play but white is winning. Okay, thanks for watching.